<laughs> we'll let you all gather first, and then we'll, uh, we'll throw the questions. Okay, in the back row, over here. On the right hand side, we'll get the, we're gonna get a mic today, but in a moment. Hi, Liz from Today Show. Congratulations on your win. I know this award season has been wonderful for all of you in your past. Well, I know this is a limited series, but could the story continue? Oh, uh, I wish I could say, uh, I feel like there's so many paths that you could stay limited. It was a very close-ended story, for sure. And uh, but if Netflix wanted to continue, it could also be an anthology. It could be many things, but uh, you know, it's up to the great algorithm. And uh, we're all yeah. waiting to hear. We want more. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, we'll take a question from our virtual press room. Let's go to Daniel Anderson of Timmin Magazine. Go ahead, Daniel. Hi, Timmin. Yes. Hi, thank you, Tim. Um, congratulations on everything, everyone. Uh, the show means so much to me as an Asian American. Um, for any of you, having to portray such complicated characters and go to such dark places in the show, what did you do to take care of your own mental health while working on this project, or did it also influence your mental health um, in a way? Thank you. Uh, I think um, confronting things like this um, in a safe environment with love and um, a lot of courage and strength with all these incredible people and humans and artists is um, our blessing. Um, I feel personally that um, the conversations we have about the things that we explore and the places that we come to afterwards have been nothing short of uh, true, true uh, privilege. So um, we like each other, and uh, we love each other, and it's pretty great. We're going to stay with the virtual press room. We're going to go to Ty Lee of uh, Ty Headline. Hello, congratulations, everyone. I'm so excited to, you know, congratulate you. But Ali, ask you this question: How has your experience working on B? this Emmy Award and how did you both as an actress and storyteller? Uh, I mean, uh, you know, my my goal was always I, 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 to just be able to tell jokes for a living and so I'm just still so in disbelief and, and honored that Sunny asked me to do this and I think um, Obviously, it was very intimidating to, at first. The idea of working with Stephen Yun, uh, he's still, I believe, just, you know, obviously one of the greatest actors of our generation. And uh, on the first day of rehearsals, he put his hand on my shoulder and he said to me, I don't know anything you don't know. And that made all, that made all the difference, you know? And so working with him and, and Yun and Joe and Maria and everybody else in the cast, uh, I mean, they, it, 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 it really was like a collaborative process, and so I just had so much fun, yeah, doing it. And I'm still so surprised that, at, at, at what we made, and, and so proud of what we made. Any other questions in the room? If not, we'll go to our virtual press room for one last question. Okay, so let's go to uh, Tradisha Lee of Black Tree TV. Hello, thank you so much. Um, I just wanted to ask, were there any intentional choices made in the storytelling format that you believe contributed to the series impact? Um, uh, you know, I, I think we we were just all mining from from uh, real life, uh, real observations, and real people that we knew or real feelings that we had inside. Uh, so many discussions with all the great actors up here, with Jake. Uh, we really wanted to make a show about things that, um, you know, we all think throughout the day, but uh, maybe don't say out loud. Uh, there was a Carl Jung quote that was our North Star. Uh, one does not become enlightened by imagining figures of light, but by making the darkness conscious. Uh, so hopefully uh, we did that. Any other questions in the room? Okay, thank you very much. Congratulations.